In this video, I'm going to take you through Opera's combined crypto wallet and Web3 browser, the crypto browser. First, we'll discuss what the crypto browser is before we jump in and see how we download and use it. I'll have a timeline in the summary below for those of you that just want to jump to specific parts of the tutorial. For more information on the Opera crypto browser, please check out the link in the description or head across to our review on everybithelps.co.uk. Opera, who are famous for its 25 years in creating browsers, has just released the beta version of their crypto browser, which is made for Web3. Usually crypto browsers are browser extensions, and they're bolted into Web2 browsers, which can be insecure for users. However, with Opera's combined crypto wallet and Web3 browser, your journey through Web3 is safer and more user-friendly than ever. Their Web3 browser is available for Windows, Mac and Android, with iOS coming soon. The desktop crypto browser comes with additional built-in features, and that includes a free no-log VPN, a secure clipboard to safely copy and paste information, and quick access to Telegram, Discord, Twitter, and other messengers from the sidebar. You'll get access to Opera's built-in crypto wallet, which supports Polygon, Ethereum, ERC20, and ERC721 tokens, and allows you to send crypto and NFTs directly to others. Plus, you can also add your MetaMask, Coinbase or Binance wallet to the browser. Their seamless integration between their browser and some of the top dApps, DeFi tools and Gamify games. So let's jump into the walkthrough. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be downloading the crypto browser onto my Mac and I'll have a link in the summary that you can use for that. Simply download the crypto browser and when the download is complete, you can run the file to install. Well, you'll just need to accept and install and then launch the Opera Crypto Browser. So as you can see, the installation process is pretty quick and easy to install. So let's look at how to use the browser. So just taking a look at the navigation, in the top left is where you can close, minimize, or expand the browser. Underneath those icons on the left is where you have your crypto wallet, which we're gonna look at in depth in a moment. Then there's links where you can integrate and connect your own Discord account, and you can also set up Telegram using the QR code. Plus there's a player where you can quick access to the likes of Apple Music, Spotify and YouTube Music. Pinboards, where you can collect, organise and share links with other people. Your History tab to view the previously viewed pages and you can clear up your browsing history data from there too. Then finally there's some settings that you can configure. Let's take a look at the Opera Crypto Wallet now, which is built into the browser. As you can see, the wallet supports the Ethereum and Polygon network too, so you can store your ERC20, 721 and Matic tokens. And this is where you can create a new wallet, or you can restore your wallet using your secret recovery phase or backup phrase if you've got a new laptop, for example. I'll go ahead now and create a new wallet so I can show you through the process. First, you'll need to create a strong, secure password and then confirm it and then you can go ahead and create. You'll then be prompted with information in relation to your backup phrase. For those of you who aren't familiar with what this is, this is a list of 12 words and is the only way that you can restore your wallet. These words will need to be stored somewhere really safe as anyone with access to these words will have full control over your crypto. So we'd recommend keeping these somewhere safe offline and away from any potential harm. Opera doesn't have access to these words either so you won't be able to restore your account if there's a problem. You'll then need to confirm that you understand that this is the only way that you can restore your account. You'll then be shown your 12 words, which you'll need to write down. And obviously I'm not gonna share this part of the tutorial. But once you have these words, your crypto wallet will then be created. If you wanna find your wallet address, you can copy it from the top of the screen here, or you can share the QR code where you'll also see your address again. If we just head across the settings now by clicking onto the cog icon and then if we choose networks, here is where you can switch from the Ethereum network or the Polygon network. So I'm just going to head across to the Polygon now. Now our balance is currently at zero. So let's just top that up now and fund our wallet with some Matic tokens. I've currently got some over on Binance. So I'm going to go ahead and copy my wallet address again now and then head across to Binance. To send my tokens to this address, 
I'm just going to need to paste that into the address field and make sure that I've selected the Matic or Polygon network from the list. I'm going to withdraw 20 in this example, which will work out to be about 19.90 once we include all the Binance withdrawal fees. Then I'll withdraw those to my Opera crypto wallet. You can see that I've now got an active balance showing in my wallet, which has a value of around $29.48. If we click onto My Assets, I can see my assets showing up here, and I can toggle to Collectibles or Activity. You've then got options to send those Matic tokens to another address, a wallet, or a platform. You can buy more tokens with a third-party provider such as MoonPay. Just be aware though that this won't be the cheapest way to buy your crypto, as you do have to pay for the convenience. Plus there's also a simple swap service where you can swap from two different tokens that are on the same network. But now let's go ahead and connect our wallet to a dApp such as Aave. So I'll just head across to Aave now, launch the app, and connect wallet. And you can see that I've got the option to connect my browser wallet. So I'll just select that, and then I'll need to approve the connection in my wallet. And my wallet is now automatically connected, and you can see that in the top right hand side of the screen. The next thing we're going to look at is the crypto corner. This is a really great place for monitoring crypto prices, checking out the Ethereum gas fees, and you also have some of the latest crypto news articles. There's some crypto related videos and podcasts, a calendar section showing you any upcoming airdrops or events, then some NFT galleries, which you can browse through here. Then finally, there's some information in relation to education, including articles and videos. So this page really is your one-stop shop for crypto, all encompassed into one screen. There's also an inbuilt VPN, ad blocker and tracker blocker, which is part of their privacy package. On the toolbar at the top of the screen, if we click onto VPN, you can connect. Plus there's also some configuration options from here too. And you can choose your virtual location from the dropdown. On the far right of your screen, we then have an easy setup. And under the privacy and security section is where you can turn on or off blocking ads or tracking. Let's start with ads. So the whole idea of this is so that instead of having annoying ads popping up, which can distract you from a page that you actually want to view, you can block ads from appearing on the screen. I'll show you a quick example of this now. So I'm from the UK and I'll often head across to the Mail Online to check out the latest news. However, if I'm over on Chrome, you'll see that I've got a lot of annoying ads on the side panels of the screen, and it takes a really long time to load too. You may also notice that their advertising here has a lot of crypto-related content to me, which is no coincidence, as I'd probably think that they're tracking me. Now, if I search the same page using the Opera Crypto Browser instead, these adverts don't appear, and it's a lot easier to read the page. Plus, it'll be far quicker to load. If I head back to my easy setup, and block trackers now. You can see that the privacy protection also gives me some stats, letting me know that there have been seven ads blocked from this page and six trackers, which you can also view. All of this improves your browsing experience. To the right of the address bar is a camera icon, and this allows you to capture parts of the screen to take a screenshot or save the page as a PDF. And under your configure or easy setup icon, you can also show or hide the bookmark or apply a wallpaper, for example, letting you be able to customise your experience. But that concludes our Opera Crypto Browser run through. And as I said, there'll be a link in the description that you can use for this. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step by step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.